At 11, a scare for students and parents at a middle school in Palm Beach Gardens. A code red issued at Hall Watkins Middle School this afternoon. The school district later revealing it was a toy Nerf gun that initiated the reaction. WPTV's Joe Lopez joins us with how false alarms can make a big impact. An active shooter prevention trainer says he's seeing a surge in schools wanting to learn how to spot the possible signs of a threat. A toy gun believed to be a weapon caused a code red at Howell L. Watkins Middle School in Palm Beach Gardens. It's absolutely a scary situation when your child is in a, um, a harmful situation, a possible harmful situation, and you're not there beside them to guide them. The school sent out a message that the threat turned out to be a Nerf gun, notifying parents like Alexandria, whose child is an eighth grader. Relief, but still kind of on alert, um, you know, because... He's a child and I'm sure he doesn't know what's going um, on, you know, within the school. Every time that happens, it ties up law enforcement resources. It causes parents to go into extreme alarm given the volume of real incidents. So this is really concerning. Former Secret Service and former Homeland Security agent Tim Miller now teaches active shooter prevention. In light of recent events, how busy would you say that your industry has gotten? It's crazy. Miller says he's seen a surge in schools, places of worship, and businesses wanting training, as well as pranksters calling in the SWAT team. What is the biggest question you get when you're conducting these trainings? Well, most of the time people are afraid because they don't know how to respond. Miller says his advice is to always be alert and aware and encourages schools to take action on prevention. We do need to understand that law enforcement resources are limited Therefore, it could take them time to get there. Therefore, you got to have a plan. Palm Beach County School says the district requires 11 lockdown drills. And at this time, they couldn't tell me if the student with that Nerf gun will face any disciplinary action. Reporting in Palm Beach County, Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5. We checked our archive system for the past five years for code red incidents that we have covered here at WPTV. There are no official statistics online kept by school systems in Palm Beach County or the Treasure Coast. Now here's what we found. Again, this is according to our archive system. There have been 25 code red alerts issued at area elementary, middle and high school since February 2018. 22 have been at Palm Beach County Schools, two in Indian River, and one in St. Lucie County. Back in 2019, a code red was issued at five schools, all in close proximity in Palm Beach County. Someone reported a man with a pellet gun hiding behind a dumpster. 2019 and 2022 were the busiest of the past five years as each had six code red alerts. Now all school systems have similar but not exact criteria to call for a code red lockdown. In general, they are used for an imminent threat on campus. All interior and exterior doors are locked and no one is allowed in or out. Now code yellow alert involves limited movement when potential dangers off campus or nearby. Only one code red involved a shooting in 2020. School officials at Glades Elementary School say a student hurt himself when a gun he allegedly brought to school accidentally went off.